Hi, I'm Judd. Welcome to my hometown, Cedar Falls, Iowa. As a farming state, we love the land. No one has more respect for Mother Earth than an Iowa farmer. The folks in my town are happy. They hope to live longer and better lives through sustainability. Sustainability means that things can keep going, can sustain themselves, can continue into the future and go on forever. Given the choice, who wouldn't choose a greener, healthier future for our country and our children? But what if our freedom of choice was taken away? The best walkable communities in America are the most regulated. What if the promise of a better, greener, sustainable future was the bait used to further a more sinister agenda? Where did this idea of sustainability come from? The UN 20 years ago had held the Great Earth Summit of 1992 and everybody had had huge fun setting up a thing called Agenda 21. The Sustainable Development Agenda is the growth agenda for the 21st century. See, the UN has become a very expensive body. It's a lot of money the nations pay towards it. It's increasingly wanting to have governing power. It's wanting to undermine the very concept of a sovereign, independent nation. The world is changing. We are facing more and more problems that cannot be solved by individual states. The United Nations plan to accomplish this is called Agenda 21, using ICLEI, the Bonn, Germany-based International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives, as the ground force. We started with getting 30 uh, local governments in the U.S. and Canada organized together to take on uh, the United States government. But how did the United Nations get into Cedar Falls, Iowa? Doesn't matter how many people are in this room, we have to protect everyone. In the name of security, using the International Fire Code, my city council passed an ordinance that would make it mandatory for private property owners to put keys to their property inside a government accessible lockbox just in case of an emergency. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations, a new world order. United Nations Agenda 21 was agreed to by George H.W. Bush and 176 other world leaders in 1992. George Soros and I uh, announced uh, the Institute for New Economic Thinking. We have to fundamentally rethink economics. We need a revolution, revolutionary thinking, revolutionary action. What if powerful forces were already at work in your community to take away your car? Uh, the more we can become a car-like society, uh, the more successful all of the community becomes. What if you were legislated to eat a plant-based menu? Let's try this here. It's quinoa salad. The recipe's right here if you'd like to try it. Yeah, yeah. What if you were forced to live in packed urban areas, unable to own your own home? What if there was already a political war going on in your very own town to kill equal justice and replace it with social justice. With over 500 communities in the United States now involved with ICLEI and the United Nations, Agenda 21 has worked its way into every aspect of our daily lives. Can Agenda 21 replace the Constitution of the United States? Or will it prove to be unsustainable? Ooh.